Welcome to the Alpha Girl Confidence Podcast, where we are empowering youth female athletes to play and live confidently. My name is Shay Hatto, and each week I will bring you new episodes to teach you the strategies and tools that you need in order to live a confident, empowered life both on and off the playing field. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to the show, episode 137. So today we're going to be talking about how to achieve your goals by being happy, not how to be happy, confident, worthy by achieving your goals. So this episode, in my opinion, is um, if you really take it to heart and you you really think on it and you listen and you pay attention and you apply it, has the ability to completely change your mindset, completely change your life. All right. So there's a common thought process of when this happens, I'll be happy. I'll be confident. I'll be worthy, right? So when I make the team, I'll be happy. When I graduate high school, I'll be happy. When I get this offer, I'll be confident. When someone says, yes, they want to take me out on a date, I'll be worthy, right? This is a very, very common thought process that we humans have, but it's completely flawed. And here's why, okay? Because chasing something external of us, reaching your goals, making the team, getting the date, whatever, can never truly make you happy, can never truly make you confident or worthy. So instead of when I make the team, I'll be happy, how it really is, is when I'm happy, when I'm confident, when I'm worthy, I will make the team. When I'm confident, I'll reach my goals. When I feel worthy in who I am as a human being, I will be successful. Okay, so we've got it totally backwards. Think about it. When you are 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 internally happy and you're and you're happy and you're confident and you're worthy, you take the proper action to achieve those goals. Right. And and when you achieve those goals, whether you achieve them or not, it doesn't change your level of happiness. It doesn't change your level of confidence. Sure. Right. You're like, Shay, well, when I achieve a goal, I'm happy. Absolutely. Right. So when you achieve a goal, you're happy for a day, for a week, maybe, maybe for a couple of weeks, but highly unlikely. Right. So it fades. So if you're not confident and then like, let's say you go score a game winning goal, you'll be really confident for a day, maybe two days, maybe that week. Right. But what happens after that? Your confidence is going to go back down. Right. Whereas if you're confident beforehand and then you score the game winning goal, your confidence is going to be even higher, but you're already confident in yourself. Right. Let's say that you are confident in yourself and you have a chance to make the winning PK and you miss it. Right. That may might make you lose confidence for a day or or for a couple days, but it doesn't truly knock your worthiness. It doesn't truly knock your confidence. It doesn't truly knock your happiness. So the point of all this is telling you, and trust me, I'm working on this stuff as well, that happiness, confidence, worthiness, all of those things, when we have those things, good things will happen. It's not the other way around, right? Long-term, it starts with what's inside. It starts with your own happiness. It starts with doing the inner work. That's why I do this, because the more confident you are, the more you'll achieve your goals. And it'll just be this cycle of I'm confident, I achieve my goals, I become more confident, I achieve my goals. And that doesn't mean that you're never going to, you know, be sad or or have uh, or be, it doesn't mean you're going to be confident all the time. But it starts with the internal game because chasing the external, I'm going to say it again, chasing external goals, achievements, whatever, will never bring you internal happiness, peace, confidence, worthiness, right? But having the internal will allow the external to happen, right? So there was, I was working with a player one-on-one a few months ago and she was saying like, Shay, like, I just, I want to get this D1 offer so bad because when I get it, like, then I know I'm, I'll, I'll be worthy and other people will see me as worthy, right? And that's a very common thing. But let's say she did get the D1 offer. Yeah, she's going to be feel worthy for a couple days, a couple weeks, but then what, right? Then what? 
Because when we live from when this happens, I'll be happy. We're always chasing something outside of ourselves to be confident and to be happy. We're always chasing the next thing. We're always chasing the next thing. And we're chasing things outside of us to try to fix what's going on inside of us. And chasing something outside of you is never going to fix something inside of you. Right? Chasing something outside of you is never going to truly change you inside. You have to change yourself inside to see changes outside. Right? So hopefully I didn't lose you there. Because I know sometimes this stuff can go, sometimes it goes over my head too. Sometimes it goes over my head too. So hopefully I didn't lose you here, but I really want to drill this down. If you want to achieve your goals, if you want to be successful, it starts from within. It starts with doing the internal work. Even if you already feel like you're confident, even if you're a generally happy person, you can always work on yourself. You can always grow as a, as a human being. You can always grow your mental game. This is stuff that I work on constantly, constantly reading books, listening to podcasts, constantly. So I'm, I'm, I'm here and I'm talking to you. And I want you to know also that I don't have all of the answers. The stuff that I'm teaching you and that I talk about on the podcast, it's stuff that I'm currently working on as well. So I'm going through this with you. I'm experiencing this with you. And so I will never tell you to do something or ask you to do something or shift your mindset in a way that I'm not already working on or that I am not willing to do. So I am in this with you. And just know that when you start to work on the internal stuff, when you start to learn and, and work on becoming more confident which is what you're doing listening to this podcast, once you really start doing that and you do it consistently, you'll see everything outside of you start to change. You'll see your happiness increases. You'll see your relationships increase. You'll see your opportunities increase. You'll see your performance increase. So everything will change outside of you, but it starts with changing what's inside of you. It starts with changing your limiting beliefs and your old negative story into something that empowers you, into something that that makes you believe that you are good enough. And you know what? You don't need you don't need anything outside of you to prove to yourself that you're good enough because you are good enough no matter what. Regardless of what you do, you are always good enough. Regardless of what anyone says, you are always good enough. So don't ever let anyone tell you that you are not good enough. You are the only one who gets to decide that. And I hope that you decide. And I hope that you know that you are good enough. So if you need to go back and listen to that episode, do so. I know it can get a little bit deep sometimes, but I hope it was helpful. I hope it shifted your mindset a little bit. If it did, again, please leave us a review. Like, let us know this show is helping you. In your review, right out of the episodes that you've listened to recently, let me know what's the most valuable thing that you've heard on the podcast recently. What's the most valuable thing that you've gotten and that you've applied and that has helped you? And when you leave a review, again, more girls get to listen to the show and we get to help more people. So I appreciate you and helping me and appreciate you for taking accountability and responsibility for your own confidence and for your own happiness by listening to this episode. All right, I'll see you on next episode.